Fortress Big Bad Bruins are getting ready to fight for the puck in their historic hometown of Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your best players only wind up playing a third of the time, but boy, do they ever make a contribution. And that's why the other two-thirds, Doc, have to be important. Team game, hockey, that's exactly what it's all about. But when you have star players, those are the guys that get the meat of the minutes, the most important minutes in order to allow you to win hockey games. Char is probably going to be one of those players on the ice in those high-pressure situations. He told me before the game he really enjoys the challenge. Expect to see him in those crucial minutes. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Tuka Rask in goal, just past 30, and already over 500 games in the regular season and playoffs for the Boston Bruins. A Vezina Trophy, and he backed up Tim Thomas when the Bruins won the Stanley Cup in 2011. John Gibson gets the start. Native of Pittsburgh was only 20 when he broke into the NHL in the Stanley Cup playoffs with the Ducks. Like a lot of goalies, good size, 6'3", 210. 2-10. Two teams chomping at the bit. Let's get going. Bergeron's ready for the opening faceoff for the Bruins. Getzlaff's ready to draw for Anaheim. And we have just begun. Oh, and the puck goes out of the zone, and so they'll have to reset at center. Propelled to Manson. Important interception there. That was a big hit. Bergeron's on a mission out there, clearly trying to set the tone physically for his team early in this first period. And he steps across the line. That one hit him in the mask. Now you got to wonder what that save in the mass is, if it's going to affect him down the road. One on one. Save there. Around to the corner. Snapping a pass to Posternock. Skates it into the zone. Oh, what a save that was. The Ducks skated up on the side. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. With the game stopped, let's hear from Ray. Goals are going to be at a premium tonight. Both goaltenders have played exceptionally well. The only way you're going to be able to beat them, almost certainly, is get traffic in front of the net, see if you can distract them a little bit. Okay, Ray, thank you. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Terrific fake-out. Off the iron. He only got the outside of the post. And he is shooting. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Anaheim skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. In with it now. Just like shootout. He was in all alone and got shut down. Rister blocked. Flings it. That puck struck him in front. Let's a shot fly. Oh, and blocked away. Back to the blue line. Setting it up. Turned away with the stick. Oh, you could get a look at this from where I'm standing. This puck deflects off the goaltender and goes up over the glass. You think the Maple Leafs would still like to have this guy in their organization? An original first-round draft pick back in 2005. Tuka Rask, a Stanley Cup winner with the Boston Bruins back in 2011. A little under eight minutes remaining here in the period. We are deadlocked at zero. Boston's got that win. Puck leaves the zone, and so play goes back to mid-ice. With a shot, he scores! Now that the scoring's been opened up, we'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back on your heels too long. So we've played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. 
And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. By number 17, assisted by number 40. A shot! That's terrific goaltending. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Shoots. Oh, a save there. Pass attempt to Richie. Directing that one to Henrique. Carries it on in from center. Let's it go. A strong pad stop there. The Bruins have it along the side at mid ice. Good save there. Passing one off now to Henrique. Shoots one. Well done with that pass. To Miller. Just a backhander. Made the save. Anaheim's finding a way through center. The clock has bled down to the last minute. Shoots. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. And he hatchets one. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Puck disappeared into the player's bench, so the clock stopped. It's pretty funny to see fans fight for a loose puck, but as the puck's flipped up over the glass, you see everybody try to wrestle into position so they can maybe get their hands on a game puck. The Bruins with a win at center. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. Only one goal scored. Lots of time left to play. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for Boston's one goal lead came on this play. I want to show it to you one more time as we go to break. Eddie, we're about to enter the second period here. What did you think of the opening period of our game? Anaheim's fallen behind after the first period because they haven't been able to possess the puck. They'll need to get on the attack if they want to push the pace going forward. Bumped, loses it. Chip to Bergeron. Can start the attack going in the zone. They score! <laughs> You give him the opportunity from this spot in the ice, that's the low slot area, he's gonna score. That's an outstanding shot. The goaltender doesn't have much of a chance to get across and shut the top of the net off. It's perfect. Boston's got their second goal of this game. There may be more. They've been heavily out shooting the opponent. And the faceoff's won. Scored by number 63. Laid on to Raquel. Assisted by number 37. Out in front, they score! It's only a one-goal game now. One minute, 31 seconds. I love watching guys score on the backhand. I think he should be able to shut this off. The goalie gets down into the position to stop the puck. He just doesn't get the blocker there in time. The Ducks, with the scoring of that goal, have cut the lead in half and still an entire period to play. Neutralized faceoff win. Scored by number 67, Rickard Raquel. Anaheim's along the wing at center ice. And by number Osternock's cutting through the neutral zone. And a good job in the goal crease. Driving in from no man's land. Shoots. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. And a save. Got it in his own end. I'd say this game is played out pretty much according to plan. Both teams have been really focused on the defensive side of the puck. There's not much room. It has been pretty physical, and when there are chances, the goalies have been sharp. 
And he shoots one. Made that stop. To Raquel. Steps in from the neutral zone. That one is pointed to him. Moves it to the corner. Tries to get it on net. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Gibson's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Good face-off win. A long scorcher. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. And he shoots. And a save. Back in his defensive end to get it. The Ducks wheel it up the wing. Shoots it off. The pad came in handy that time. Trying to go to Wagner. And he fires. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Looking to Cogliano. Crosses that line. And the pickup. Stole that pass. Snags the puck. The Bruins force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. Shoots one. Made that work for him in goal. Picks it up back there. Anaheim's got possession in the middle of the ice. What a hit that was. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Crashed into him in open ice. You see a hit in that area of the ice, it gets everybody's attention. And it's a good pickup. Anaheim's in the neutral zone along the wing. One minute left. Shoots one. Stick to some. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Waffle boarded. Pitching this one to Kasha. Fires. Blockered away. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. A look at the shots on goal through two. 17 for Boston and 15 for Anaheim. When your team wins, you Boston's win. goaltender has made a difference in this game. His team has gotten the goals, and he has made saves like this. More in a moment. Purchase of fifty dollars or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Anaheim's down after the first forty minutes of play. Couple of positives. One, they're only down by a goal. Second, time of possession has been in their favor, but at some point, they have to convert some of those chances. Missed wide. Boston's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Shoots one. Routine save. Has it in his own end. And now it's directed to Raquel. Steps across that line. Gathered up by Char. Pitching it to Pasternak. Wow, look at him. He's got a long way to go. Does he have enough gas? Skill play by Zdeno Chara. It's all on his shoulders. Moving it to Perry. And in flight over the line. Perry's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Very little power as he glides back to the bench after being on the receiving end of that hit. Buck is thrown to Silverberg. Leads that charge into the zone. Handled with the stick. Boston's along the wing at center ice. Wonderful stop. Anaheim's got it in their own end, hoping for center. Back and forth they go between the points. Snapping a pass to Krejci. Puts one on. Got in the way of that one. Pass attempt to Silverberg. A shot. Deflected off the blocker. This game is going to wind down and be close right to the final horn. Each team has tried to enforce their style of play on the other. It's just not happened. Skilled play by Fowler. 
Good intercept in his own end. And he gains the zone. Looks ahead to start something. A backhand shot. That's why. Gathered up again by Shen. Directing that one to Kasha. By himself. An aggressive poke check on the breakaway. Great poke check. Grab, great chance ahead. They score. And they've tied the game up. You get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the tying goal. And now we're back to even. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Perry's been missing from the bench for quite some time. Just heard that he will not be back today. Guys? Anaheim's won that faceoff. Passing one off now to Kasha. Magnificent breakup of the odd man rush. Still some time. Say, trying to go to Richie, and he takes it through center ice. Gains the zone. Terrific determination by Marshan. Boston's gliding along through the neutral zone, looking to Richie. We are in the last minute. Use that big goalie stick well. From the outside. At least he protected his goaltender. Scooped up by Shen. Pitching this one to Pedersen. He gains the zone. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Oh, what a massive collision. Save. Slid to Getzlaff. And now it's directed to Raquel. Cut off that pass at center ice. Two guys together with force. Big force. Raquel's going to have to gather himself after taking that hit solidly. He was not aware where everybody was. Anaheim setting it up as they move through center. Using the point. Big drive! A tremendous back and forth through three periods. Perhaps a decision will come in sudden death overtime. Anaheim's goal has forced the overtime period. Take a look at it one more time. Who will get the next one? We'll find out when overtime begins in a moment. We have begun sudden death overtime. If no one scores in this next stretch, we'll be headed for a shootout. Nice work by Bergeron. And he picks it up. What a tremendous hit. What a terrific opportunity. Gathered up again by Bergeron. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Collected by Chara. Puck out of the zone, and so they'll regroup. Game on his stick. Snaps a shot. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. Well, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Let's a shot go. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. Char is a large human, and when you really slow it down, you could really feel the force of this hit. That's a huge face-off victory for them. Good shooting place. Score! The overtime winner! And the players spill over the boards to celebrate. And finally, the horn goes. The Ducks lost the game. And in overtime, it's like losing a game and a half. Where they
They had their opportunities and regulation but just come up a little bit short in extra time. A fun game for us. We hope it was for you. That's our show. More games to come. If they match this one, they will be special. So long for now.